Hey guys, it's Miss J. Today we are going to be working on some basketball skills. Um, so we're gonna be working on dribbling um, and just general ball handling skills today, okay? Um, and you can use any type of ball, a basketball, a volleyball, um, soccer ball, those will all work for dribbling skills, okay? Um, it might be a little bit different and you might not have to press down as far or you might have to press down harder, um, but it should still work with any type of ball that you have, even a yoga ball. Um, would even work, okay? So any of those things would work, um, just not a medicine ball, I guess. That might be a little too difficult um, if you even know what those are, okay? Um, so we're gonna be working on um, basketball dribbling skills, okay? All right, so first of all, we're gonna start with just warming up our fingertips, okay? And warming up our hands, okay? So what I want you to do first is we are going to start by just pressing our fingertips together and pushing the ball from hand to hand, just like this, okay? Okay, and we're gonna start down here at our waist, okay? Then we're gonna move up to right in front of our face, all right? Just like that, and then we're gonna move above our head from one hand to the other, okay? Then we're gonna go back down to our face, back down to our waist, now down to our knees. You can look up and down to our feet. I know it's hard to reach. Oh, it's really hard with a small ball, actually. All right, now we're going to bring the ball around our waist. I know it might be hard if you're younger, bringing it around your waist, okay? It's a big ball if you're using a full size basketball. Around our waist, okay? All right, now I want us to switch directions. So still around our waist, but switching which direction we're going. All right, now we're gonna go around our head. So if you go from, so if you start behind your head this way, then we're gonna switch and do the opposite way in just a little bit. So go around your head. Keep your eyes up and then switch the other direction. So now I'm going from left hand to my right instead of right to left. All right, now we're gonna do it um, around our knees. Around our knees, okay? Oh wow, I can't. Sorry, y'all, I messed up. So around our knees, I'm actually gonna switch and use the big basketball. So around our knees, okay? And try to look up while you do this. You're gonna have to squat down to do this. Around our knees. And then switch directions. So still around our knees. Looking up if you can. If you need to, you can look down, that's okay. All right, now we're gonna do our left leg, just around our left knee, okay? So try to look up if you can. We're going from fingertips to fingertips, all right? Now switch direction. Fingertips to fingertips. Try not to just let it rest on your whole hand. Fingertips to fingertips. All right, switch legs. And switch directions. All right, now we're gonna do a figure eight, okay? So we gotta keep our legs spread out hard. So I'm gonna go this way. Try to keep your eyes up and your head up. This might be really hard, that's okay. All right, and then switch directions. This next thing, this is gonna be really challenging. Um, you, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but if you want to, see if you can do this, okay? So you're gonna have one hand on one side of your body and the other hand on the opposite, okay? And I'm gonna hold the ball, and then I'm gonna kind of push the ball up, and I'm gonna catch it, and I'm gonna switch which hand's in front, so then my left, my left hand's gonna be in front instead of my right, okay? And this one you're gonna have to look for it, probably. Okay, so see how I switched hands? Okay, I toss it up and I switch hands. See if you can get that, okay? So one hand behind, the other hand up front, and switch, okay? It's kind of like a bouncy motion, but it's really fun. All right, now we're gonna start off with dribbling, okay? So I want you to first start sitting down, okay? So we're gonna sit down. I know, it's crazy, you don't sit down in basketball, okay? But it's because I want us to just focus on dribbling 
down below. Okay, and I want us to work on practicing dribbling with just our finger tips or our fingerprints, okay? Our palm, this area, should not touch the ball. Okay, just our fingerprints or our fingertips. So if you look at your finger and you see the small fingerprints, that's the only part of our finger that should touch the ball, okay? So we're gonna start with our right hand, dribbling with our right hand, okay? Just our fingerprints, okay? All right, now see if you can switch to your left hand. Just small dribbles, push down a little bit harder so that it doesn't necessarily go down like this and that makes it really hard for you to dribble, okay? So you might need to push down a little bit harder just so it can come up a little bit higher. All right, now see if you can switch between both hands, okay? So still, still only our fingerprints are touching it, okay? All right, now see if you can stand up and dribble. Okay, still with our right hand. Okay, now we're gonna learn the correct dribbling form. When you dribble, you want to be guarding the ball. Okay, so we're gonna have one foot in front of the other. I'm gonna have my hand out to protect someone from stealing my ball. Okay, now we want you to do that switch. Okay, and now we're dribbling with our left hand. Our other hand is out, protecting the ball. Try to keep your eyes up if you can. Okay, protecting that ball. All right, all right, go ahead and switch hands. All right, and then if you're good enough, you can go ahead and dribble between your legs when you switch. So when I say switch, you can switch between your legs, okay? So switch between our legs, okay? And if you're not comfortable with that, then you can still just do the bounce pass and switch, okay? Bounce pass to yourself and switch, all right? Switch. Switch. And the lower you are, the better. Switch, okay? All right, good work, good work. Now, if you were struggling maybe with that bounce pass yourself, we're just gonna practice that real quick, okay? So if you need to, maybe find a spot, like in between your legs, that you can pass to, okay? And I just want you passing the ball between each hand. It's okay if you like catch it there for a little bit. I just want you to focus on the bounce and getting that right, okay? So bouncing that ball in between. So bounce pass to yourself. Still dribble, but it's bounce passing yourself, okay? All right, now I want us to work and see if we can dribble forward instead of just in place, okay? So start on one side and dribble, you can just walk, dribble, and try to keep it right with you and not in front of you, okay? Try to keep it right with you instead of not in front of you. You don't have to walk backwards like me, I just think it's easier, okay? And then you can go ahead and switch and use your left hand and go forward with your left hand. I know it might be a struggle. That's okay. You don't necessarily have to bend your knees right now, okay? And then switch hands again, and you can go forward with your right hand, okay? Uh, and when you do this, you can turn around. I just want you to be able to see me the entire time instead of my back, you know? And just focus on that, okay? And then, when you get good at that and you feel comfortable with that, then see if you can run and dribble at the same time and still keep control of the ball, okay? See if you can run, still control the ball, okay? And when you run, you kind of want to keep the ball low and you want to get your body lower too, okay? All right, our last thing that we are going to do, okay? The last thing that we're going to do is when we dribble, sometimes we need to stop to shoot or to pass, right? So we are going to work on stopping and not moving our feet because that would be a travel. If we're holding the ball, if we pick up the ball and we move our feet more than one step, so if I just move my foot like this, that's fine. But if I move both, that's called a travel, okay? So we're going to learn on stopping with the ball, okay? So we're going to dribble the ball and then we're going to stop. And catch and see how I'm planting my feet. I'm planting my feet when I when I do that. I'm gonna jump and plant my feet, okay? So I'm dribbling, I jump and plant my feet, okay? So keep working on that. Okay. So make sure that when you dribble, you're not doing what's called um, double dribbling, okay? And that's dribbling with both hands at the same time. Just like this. 
or maybe it's going like this even. Okay, that's double dribbling. So we want to dribble with one hand, and that's why we practice with one hand, okay? So those are just a couple of the different rules of basketball. So doing that bounce pass to yourself is a good way to switch hands, okay? All right, I hope you guys had a fun time. Have a great day, guys. Bye.